Seldom has a side preparing for a cup final appeared so laid back. At their Dorset Hotel this week, even training was fun. The Coventry philosophy is one of relaxation. It seems to have worked all season. This contented group of players have made Coventry City at last a name to be feared. We are now a club to be reckoned with. We are a club that other managers say, hey, come on. This is a different Coventry City. If they're talking about us that way, we must be doing the business. The lads have trained hard, played hard all, all sort of season. And, you know, we've got one match left, which is the big match. And, you know, if they're not fit enough, no, they never will be. If inspiration were needed, Wednesday's FA Youth Cup win over Charlton provided it. Imagine then what a Wembley win tomorrow could do for the city. The people of Coventry are so uh, grateful to us for actually, for actually getting them to go to Wembley. But uh, obviously it would be the icing on the cake if, if we did come back with a cup as well. The day he's always dreamed of, and I'm sure I shall get very emotional, especially when they play the national anthem. Um, it happened for me when they played it, and you know, I was in tears then, and I'm sure I will be again um, tomorrow. I would say don't let the day pass them by. Go out and enjoy it, uh, because it, when I played there, I let it pass me by. I can't remember a thing about it, really. And just go out and enjoy yourself and play the way that I've been playing all season. I'm sure most people in Coventry will just be delighted to go to Wembley, win or lose. But I think on the day, uh, the players are professional enough to want to win. And I've still got a sneaky feeling that their name's on the cup. I think they are going to win. Naturally, I hope long that they shall win it. But, of course, they're not the favourites. Far from it. That sometimes is a good thing, not to be the favourites. Because you've got everything to win and in a sense not so much to lose. We're going out tomorrow to enjoy our day and we're going to go there as a team. And it will be immense pride in what has been achieved by the city of Coventry and by Coventry City in this last year. And here we are at the Coventry Hotel with the, what I might call the backbone of that achievement. First of all, the goalkeeper, Steve Grizovic, I got it right. Um, congratulations first and what are you going to call your daughter who was born this morning? Thank you. We've decided to call it a nice, simple name, Rachel Louise. So it's a bit of a mouthful, really. Did your wife get a bit upset about the fact that you were sort of leaving home at the point where she was giving birth? Well, she was delighted, actually, that, you know, I managed to be there yesterday. Unfortunately, if she'd have given birth today or tomorrow, which looked possible at one time, then obviously she'd have been very disappointed. But thankfully, you know, she arrived yesterday, so good timing on her behalf. Really. You're on top of the world in every way. What's made the difference to you at Coventry City, peaking and producing form that's setting people talking about you as an England player? Well, I mean, that's very <coughs> flattering when people do that. Again, I think that if teams are successful, uh, players' reputations are enhanced. I mean, uh, you get more press publicity, more media attention. And, uh, you know, people, I mean, probably a year ago, most people didn't know the majority of Coventry City players. Now they're beginning to know them, beginning to know them as very good players. And, but the confidence that makes you on the field come off that line and pick up a ball that other goalkeepers would stay and watch.